Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to bring you along on another What We Eat in a Day video. So about once or twice a week we like to do a hot cereal and one of our favorites is buckwheat. And so the way that I prepare this is that the night before I put it to soak. And so I have some kefir and filtered water. And so the ratio that I use when making this is twice as much water and then I just add the kefir to that water, like taking up the portion of that water. So for example, I for two cups of buckwheat, I will add one cup of kefir and three cups of water. And I apologize for my stove, it didn't get wiped off yet in this evening when I was <laughs> filming me putting this together, but it does happen. So just disregard that, just some real life. But anyway, I get the buckwheat soaking the night before and then in the morning after it's soaked all night, it really cooks very quickly. It ends up being a really fast and easy breakfast. So then in the morning, I will go ahead and bring this to the stove top, take the lid off. I'll add some salt. I usually just eyeball this, but for this amount, usually about half a teaspoon of salt is a good amount. And then I just start this off on high heat and bring it up to a boil. And as soon as it's boiling, then I lower the heat down to low and then I just continue to cook it, stirring it now and then. And then at this point is when I add the butter. So I like to add a large amount of butter, like about half a cup. And so I will go ahead and just add that and stir it in and then allow that to melt and combine with the rest of the buckwheat cereal. Meanwhile, I'm multitasking here. I'm heating up some stew, it's some beef stew for my kids' lunch. Um, for my kids that go to school, they're bringing along uh, heated up beef stew in thermoses. And then as soon as the buckwheat hot cereal is nice and thick, then we go ahead and dish it into bowls. And then we like to sprinkle some sucanat on top. So this is the unrefined cane juice that has all the vitamins and minerals still there. It's just like evaporated pure cane juice that's not been refined at all. So we like to sprinkle a little bit of that on there and then pour some raw milk in as well. And then we enjoy it. And then typically our fermented food for with breakfast is a glass of milk kefir. For lunch today, we're just reheating soup and I am reheating some potato soup. I think you've seen me make this before. Those of you who have been watching my other more recent videos, you've seen me put this recipe together. So it's just a basic ham and potato soup recipe. It's one of our favorites. It's got chicken meat stock in it, lots of butter, those kinds of things. So I'm just, getting a nice big bowl of that. I like to pour it into the bowl first to see how much I'm getting. I ended up using up what was in the jar so the bowl is pretty full and then I pour it into a little pan and he just heat it on the stove and then pour it back into my bowl to enjoy it. And then for the fermented food for lunch we're having some raw homemade sauerkraut. And then for dinner today, we're doing a roast. So right around lunchtime or a little bit before is actually even more ideal, but somewhere around there, I'm getting this started. So sometimes I've only figured this out, what exactly I'm having for dinner like a little bit ago. So I didn't have it thawed and it always works fine. It thaws while it starts to cook and it's no big deal. So I'm starting the roast from frozen, just sticking it into my cast iron Dutch oven. And then I'm, putting some salt and pepper on to season, peeling a couple onions, just cutting them in half. Or I guess I just did one onion this time. Usually I do two and then put that in there and I just put it into the oven. If I'm starting it right around lunchtime and it's frozen, I'll go ahead and start it at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. If I have more time or it's thawed, then I'll usually do 275. And then after it's been cooking for a little while, I'm gonna go ahead and add some potatoes. So I have red potatoes here that I sliced up and then just put those around the roast. And then also carrots. So I'm peeling those and then slicing those into bigger chunks since it's still gonna be a longer, slower cook time. Putting those around the roast and then sticking it back into the oven to continue cooking. I usually add the 
carrots and potatoes or whatever vegetables I'm doing a few hours before I know that I'm gonna be ready to serve this. And then another thing that I'm serving with dinner are these acorn squash. So these are already cooked from another dinner and I'm just reheating them. So about half an hour or so before I know that it's time to eat, I'll stick those into the oven as well so that they can heat through. And then that'll just be additional cooked vegetables to serve for dinner with the roast and potatoes and carrots. And then for the fermented food for Tonight's meal, we are having more sauerkraut and I apologize for my head being in the way. For when I'm dishing that up, I need to try and keep my head out of the way. But there is our dinner and then those who want it will also have some acorn squash as well. All right, I hope that you enjoyed coming along for another what we eat in a day video. Just keeping it really simple and nutrient dense, trying to source things really well, but not letting it get complicated or time consuming. That's my favorite way to do things. Of course, sometimes I'll spend more time in the kitchen for fun doing more complicated recipes, but a lot of times it's just simple, nourishing, delicious food from well-sourced, high-quality ingredients that doesn't take a lot of time, but tastes great and nourishes very well. So that's the way that we like to do it here. Check out that description box for links to different places that I like to buy ingredients and groceries and where I like to source things like meat and all of that. I also have some free ebooks down there and some meal plans, different things like that. So definitely go ahead and check those out. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.